The best tradition in college sports, dotting the I in script Ohio, would get some votes. 77,000 Badger Mad fans at Camp Randall Stadium are partial to the fifth quarter. Cal students, well, they delight in stealing the Stanford tree. At Duke, they sleep in Krzyzewskiville. Florida students, Gator Clap. Georgia breeds Uggas. You can argue for hours about which tradition is tops, but really, why bother? Because any and all are just second best behind picking up Butch. Chris Conley visits the small school with a huge heart. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a fan and I love you guys. At Middlebury College in Vermont, the sights of a New England autumn morning include brittle sunlight across a football field and the man whose unsinkable spirit has made him a part of a four decade tradition. Fifty-seven year old Richard Butch Varno has cerebral palsy. It confines him to a wheelchair and makes it impossible for him to care for himself. So before every football and men's basketball game at Middlebury, two or three athletes get in a car and head for the place just down the hill from North Pleasant Street, where Butch is waiting for them. Hey guys. Hey Butch, how's it going? Great. What's up Butch? We're ready to go guys. Let's yeah, do it. One, two, three, go. Uh -oh. And as Middlebury athletes have done for more than 40 years, yeah, Butch. They pick up Butch. Oh, uh, man. The captain, big guy, 6'5", 240, looks me in the eye and he's like, John, don't forget Butchie. So uh, right from that moment, I didn't really fully comprehend like the significance of what we were doing until like I got that look from him. Let's do it, guys. They drive Butch to the game. I'm here, guys. Hey, you are. And after he's wheeled into Middlebury's Alumni Stadium, Butch begins the happiest hours of his entire week. I ask you to now please rise as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Let's go, Hayden! Fast! Give it to him. Touchdown! Touchdown! Yes! Hey, you called it, man! You called it! Yes. You just know that's where he wants to be his favorite place in the world, to be at an athletic event, to be cheering his team. There's a way to go, guys! Have you been a sports fan all your life, Butch? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Because I, I honestly wanted to play. And that's what cerebral palsy does. It takes away what you want to do with your life. The Picking Up Butch tradition started in 1960 when Butch and his grandmother were struggling to return from a football game during a blizzard. Roger Ralph, then a sophomore at Middlebury, happened to be driving by. He picked them up and drove them home. I suspect there's never been a Middlebury student who has crossed Butch's porch, going into Butch's living room, taking him out of his wheelchair or helped him into his wheelchair that Butch hasn't been delighted to see. He makes you feel like a million bucks. Generations of athletes at Middlebury have picked up Butch. Basketball players before football games, football players before basketball games. It's become a tradition, passed down from upperclassmen to freshmen. You just tell him where he lives, go pick him up, and uh, make sure you got plenty of space in the car. It's a good experience, you know, he talks a lot. Don't be nervous, he's a good guy, he's easy to talk to. Just sit there and let him know you're there for him. For many of our students who come from very, very affluent backgrounds, to see Butch in his environment, to have the opportunity to pick him up, is a life lesson they can never learn in a classroom. Middlebury students have lifted up Butch in other ways as well. After years of tutoring from student athletes like pole vaulter Sarah Smith, the man once spurned by the state school system, earned his high school equivalency diploma by passing the GED test. He was very emotional that day. It was a very emotional day for him, but I think it was one of his proudest moments, one of his greatest achievements of his life. Let's throw the ball, guys! On the football field, Butch hopes for great achievements from his team. Yeah, here we go! Shouting encouragement as Middlebury lines up to attempt a last second field goal that would beat Colby College. Get up there! Yes! Yes! No! 
But defeat never leaves him down for long. It was a tough loss, huh? Yeah, you're OK. He's quick to offer words of consolation as his team leaves the field. A tough one today, huh? Yeah, yeah, but I'm proud of you. For as Butch supports his beloved players, they support him and help him do extraordinary things. There you go, Butch. There you go. There you go. Yeah, there you go. We're not going to let you go, Butch. Oh. Almost. There we go. I'm very slow, guy. It's okay. No, no, you're doing good, Butch. Doing good. Butch. You walk every day, so you know what it feels like. You run, you run, you jump. Well, I can't do that unless I have help. And I had help from three great football players who did the job. There you go. Yeah, Butch. Yeah. This is what it's all about, guys. Oh, I'm. I can't. Yeah. There you go. Over 40 years, from the most experienced coach to the youngest freshman picking him up for the first time, Butch Varno has brightened scores of lives. And as Butch has spent his life unashamedly loving the people of Middlebury College, the people of Middlebury have loved him right back. You are a special friend to all of us. We love you, man. I'm sure that there are many, many stories like this of, on other campuses where students are working with the less privileged. But this has gone on for 40 years. I think it speaks volumes of who Butch Varno is and what his relationship with our institution has meant for so many years. Mostly being involved with the kids, it takes so much pressure off you. They're keeping me sane, man. They're keeping me together. They're holding me together. And that's the most important thing. With the continued support of Middlebury student-athletes, Butch plans to audit a course at the college this year on American presidents. He's currently into basketball season with the freshman football players in charge of picking him up for the games. During the summer stretch when school's out, which he says is a very miserable time, Butch favors watching Red Sox games on TV, which doesn't always help. <laughs>